Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will discuss the different rating of MCB and we will also see what inside of this MCBs. Now, MCB stands for Miniature Circuit Breaker as it operates as a circuit breaker. Now, let's see what are the rating of this MCB. Now, MCB has a voltage rating and a current rating. Here, you can see the current rating is 10 kilo amps or 10,000 amps and voltage is 240 volt for this MCB the current rating is 10 as is written C10 and voltage is again 240 volt and 50 hertz is a frequency and this letter B and C indicate the type of the MCV. We will talk about the B, C and D type of MCV, what are they means in the end of this video. Before that, we will see the construction of this MCV, what inside of this MCV. Now I have to open this plastic casing to see inside the MCV. Now this is the inside of the MCB. These are the two terminal. We connect the supply to this terminal and we connect the load to this terminal. And this is a switch. With the help of this switch, we can turn the MCB on and off manually. And during we turn on the MCB, these two contact are connected. This is the moving contact as it can move. When the switch is turned on position, the current flows from this terminal to this moving contact after the moving contact it will flow through this solenoid i can show you and after this solenoid the current will flow through this bimetallic strip as these two are connected with this wire and after the bimetallic strip it will come to load terminal Thus the current flow through the MCB in normal condition. When the fault occur due to short circuit or any overload fault, these are the two tripping device. This is this solenoid is a magnetic circuit which strip the circuit breaker instantly and this biometallic strip which is a thermal device will trip the circuit breaker after a certain time now when the short circuit occur the current increase to a much higher value this magnetic circuit will trip the circuit breaker instantly the coil of the solenoid will get energized after a predefined limit of the current and it will attract this plunger now when this plunger is attracted it will trigger the lever and the switch will get into off position and the device will trip with the help of this screwdriver i am pushing this plunger inside of the solenoid same thing happen when the solenoid will get energized due to higher current now i am pushing it please concentrate on this device and these two contact will trip after the switch will turn off now i am pushing it you can see these two contact is separated and the device is tripped again I am showing now these two contact is shorted and I am pushing this plunger this, this plunger I am pushing it and uh, device tripped after it triggered the lever now does the magnetic circuit trip the device during faulty condition now when the overload current uh, not much higher suppose if the rating of the circuit breaker is 10 ampere and the overload current is 15 ampere 18 ampere then this solenoid will not get energized 
to trip the device instantly. Then this thermal device come into play and trip the device after a certain time. The time depends on the value of the overload current. It may couple of second to couple of minute. Now this biometric strip is made of two different metal having different expansion rate. Now when this biometric strip is heated up it will bend and it will trigger the lever of the switch. Now I am showing you I am shorting this to terminal by turning on the circuit breaker with the help of this switch. Now if I bend the biometric strip with the help of this screwdriver it will trigger the lever and circuit breaker will trip. Now I am showing you slowly it's bending and now it touching the lever again I am pushing and it will trip can see these two contact is separated after it triggered the lever thus this biometric strip perform the tripping function due to small overload current now when the faulty current is very high these two contact are separated and a arc generated between them now this device is designed such a way after the arc generated the arc follow in this path here you can see this terminal is which is the arc runner is come up to this end this terminal and for this terminal it is electrically shorted and is come up to this end both of this terminal is come up to this end so that the arc can follow this path and it's also called a arc runner so after generation of the arc the arc will follow this path and between these two terminal the number of plate is present here you can see the number of metallic plate is there which is separated with the help of this insulating material and all the plate are electrically separated so this plate is placed here and these are the two ceramic plate which are present because the heat energy of the arc could not damage this plastic molding this is the function of these two ceramic plate and this device is placed in between these two terminal now when the arc follow this path and it come to this position this plate split the arc into small arc and the heat energy of the arc will absorb by this metallic plate so arc quench very fast with the help of this metallic plate now i have discussed all the component of this circuit breaker and I have shown you all the parts of this MCB. Now we will discuss the different B, C and D type circuit breaker. Now you can see this is a B type circuit breaker as B is written. This is a C type circuit breaker. What this B, C is indicating. Now For B type circuit breaker, the tripping current will be 3 to 5 times higher than the rating current. Suppose here is 10 is written, which is the rating current of this circuit breaker. If this is B type circuit breaker, then tripping current will be 3 times to 5 times higher. And this B, C, D are indicating the tripping current of this solenoid or magnetic tripping device, not this thermal tripping device. So, for 10 ampere, if I take the example of 10 ampere, 
the tripping current for B type circuit breaker will be 30 amps to 50 amps. So this solenoid will get energized when the current reached to 30 to 50 amps for this circuit breaker. Now for C type circuit breaker the tripping current of this magnetic device will be 5 times to 10 times. Again for the example of 10 ampere the tripping current of this magnetic tripping device will be 50 amp to 100 amp and for D type it will be 10 times to 20 times of course for 10 ampere example it will 100 amp to 200 amp now if I supply a single phase induction motor through this uh, B type circuit breaker then at the time of starting the motor will take typically uh, 6 times to 10 times of its rated current. So of course this B type will not be suitable for supplying a motor because it will trip instantly and the solenoid get energized at the time of starting. So at that case we will use C type circuit breaker so that the solenoid will not get energized and trip the device at the higher starting current of the motor. So this B and C and D type is indicating the tripping current of this magnetic tripping device. I hope you have understood the working principle of a circuit breaker and the different rating and different type of circuit breaker in this video if you like the video please hit a like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you